Hi, Kurt Morrison here. Welcome to Maximize Your Influence. This is where we expand what we talked about on the podcast. Podcast, Maximize Your Influence at MaximizeYourInfluence.com. Also can be found at Spotify and iTunes. Let's talk about how to become more persuasive. How you can get others to want to do what you want them to do and like doing it. On this week's podcast, we talked about unlimited referrals. And one of the things we talked about that I want to expand is talking about referrals getting those referrals, but even more important than that, let's talk about a study. Dun and Bradstreet did a study that found out that when a prospect or a client or a customer gives you a referral, they're going to stay with you for life. They're going to roll with you with business because they've given you a referral. They don't refer their friends for fun. If they could do it, there's consistency. Remember the law of dissonance and consistency in my book, Maxim Influence? That's what's happening here. Once they recommend you, you have a customer in there that's going to stick for life. It's very important that you understand that. And here's something even more important. Another study done by Knox and Inkster. This was at a horse racing track in Canada. People were standing in line thinking about placing a bet. And they interviewed them, had a few questions. And one of the questions, they were trying to find out how confident they were in their decision on that horse. And then, of course, they waited in line. They made the bet. And then after they made the bet, they were interviewed again. One of the questions, again, was to find out how confident they were in their decisions. And here's what's really important to understand. Sit down, hold on, this is what's going on. Is that after they placed a bet, they were more confident in their decision. Which makes more sense. Or does it? Here's the thing. When someone's thinking about doing business with you, they're looking for every reason not to. But once they think, hey, I can do this, or they refer you, endorse you, recommend you, or purchase your product, now they're looking for all the reasons why it was a great decision. And that's what's happening here. They refer you, they recommend you, they endorse you. Then all of a sudden, it was the right thing. They're looking for all the things that are right with your product, your service, your business. Very important that you understand that. The other takeaway I want, where I want to expand this is that don't wait till the end to ask for this referral. Ask for it in the beginning. I like, go, well, what do you mean? This is what I mean. Let people know right up front. Say, hey, one of the reasons my price is where it is, the investment's where it is, is I do business on referrals. And when I exceed your expectations and solve your problem or challenge, which we fill in the blank there, is it okay if I ask you for a referral? And people love to give you referrals. When you exceed their expectations, you solve their problem, you make the money, you save the money, whatever it is what your product service idea does, now all of a sudden, they're going to refer you, you're going to be on their mind, and you already have permission to ask for that referral. That's a key factor. So listen to the whole podcast at MaximizeYourInfluence.com. That's also home of your Persuasion IQ assessment. And if you want to contact me, go to MaximizeYourInfluence.com or the contact information is below. Use this information and go out and persuade with power. Watching us on YouTube, like the video, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, let it, share it with your friends, let us know what other tools you want to hear. Persuade with power.